Hi, my name is Tracy Ta, and today I'll be covering the mechanical and chemical barriers of the skin. This is from chapter 11, question number two, explain the mechanical and chemical barriers of the skin. Mechanical barriers. The skin or epithelial surface physically blocks, rinses, flushes, and traps pathogens from entering into our body which this serves as a structural or mechanical barrier. The parts of our body that are not covered by skin, such as our eyes or our mouth or other orifices, have mechanical processes in protecting us in which they prevent entry. This includes our tears that wash away microbes or how the cilia in our nasal passages and respiratory tract will secrete mucus, which then traps pathogens and pushes the trapped pathogens out from our body. Epithelial cells are enriched with specialized proteins like keratin and lipids, in which they serve as water-resistant layers, protecting us from pathogens entering our body. Did you know? Our skin is made up of compacted epithelial cells, which constantly shed off as they carry the bacteria away with them. Every minute of the day, we lose 30 to 40,000 dead skin cells off the surface of our skin. That means during this presentation, you've probably already lost 40,000 cells by now. And to calculate this, us humans lose approximately almost nine pounds or four kilograms of cells every year. The chemical barriers of our skin are the processes of which our skin grows through to fight off pathogens and protect our immune system. The chemical barrier maintains the skin's moisture and acid composure. This inhibits the growth of bacterial pathogens. Also, the lining of our stomach produces hydrochloric acid and protein digesting enzymes that destroys pathogens. The composition of skin is relatively dry, it's low nutrient, it's salty, and is a slightly acidic environment, which also inhibits the growth of many microbes. We have certain fatty acids in our sweat that serve as additional chemical barriers as well, as our saliva and our tears. They contain lysozyme. This is an enzyme that kills bacteria. We also have cutaneous production of antimicrobial peptides, which serve as a response to microbial invasions. Did you know that the barrier has an acidic pH, around five, and low amounts of water, which make it a hostile environment for many microorganic pathogens? Also, sudden and large shifts in humidity alter our stratum corneum hydration in a way that could allow entry of pathogenic microorganisms. Actually, the ability of the skin to hold water is primarily due to this stratum corneum. The lipids are arranged through a gradient and then they're organized between the cells of this layer, which then forms a barrier to water loss from inside the cell to the atmosphere. This presentation today was brought to you by these works cited listed here. Thank you.